So in this uh, video, we're going to look at differential equations and mathematical models, and uh, an underlying principle that um, helps us actually formulate uh, several of these models. So the first thing we want to look at basically is the, uh, the the population models. So the basic idea stems from the fact that <clears throat> a population, for instance, or is dependent. Its growth would be dependent on the number of individuals. Uh, or members of that population. So in other words, so if P is the population, then dP dt, where population would be, of course, a function of time, then that is proportional to the original population at time t. Okay, so in other words, uh, that would make logical sense. But of course, we can't work with this proportionality symbol, so dP dt becomes basically equal to some constant times the population. And this basically is a very important population model, which you will find that most, uh, so many uh, different mathematical models fit into this particular type of uh, uh, an, a mathematical model, an equation, a differential equation. So this is a first order differential equation, as you can see, which is separable and we can easily solve it. And its solution is, in fact, um, as you can see here, it's actually uh, CE to the KT. You can see it's a separable equation, dP over B, P equals KDT. We will solve these equations before in examples. So this basically gives you the exponential growth model, essentially, that is for populations, like, for instance, bacterial, viral populations, even human populations uh, follow exponential models. So another famous uh, one is Newton's law of cooling, which may be stated in this way. The time rate of change, the rate of change with respect to time of the temperature T of a body is proportional to the difference between T and the temperature A of the surrounding medium. So if you bring a hot cup of coffee into your room, what happens to the cup of coffee or tea? It starts to cool down. That depends on the room temperature, and it will cool down faster the cooler, the diff more difference between the, the temperature of the cup uh, and the temperature of the room. The more that difference, the faster it will cool, so it's proportional to that. And that can easily be translated into a differential equation as, there you can see, the difference T minus the ambient temperature or the room temperature, as I mentioned, minus the, the altering temperature, and times minus K times, because it's cooling, uh, bas uh, basically. So from hot to cold is how the temperature flows. So what you will notice is that as long as that if it's if we bring a cup a cup of tea, which means that tea will be uh, into a room, in a, and the room temperature is less, of course, uh, which usually is the case, then we will see that t minus a will be positive, and therefore uh, t dt dt is uh, going to decrease. We're going to have a decrease in temperature. However, if we bring something the opposite, which means that t means a cold item. So if you bring, say, ice cream into the same room, and its temperature is, of course, lower than the room temperature, then, then T is going to be less than the ambient temperature. And so this difference will be negative, which means temperature will increase. So the temperature of the ice cream, we expect. It'll melt. That's what it usually does. So it will increase. So you can see how beautifully this actually uh, represents this reality of the situation. So I've just summarized that for here. So T is greater than A, DT, DT is less than 0. Otherwise, it's greater than zero. So temperature in the first instance, in this one, the first instance, uh, it is going to be uh, basically uh, decreasing. And in the second one, it's increasing. Another interesting one is Torricelli's law implies that the time rate of change of the volume of water in a draining tank is proportional to the square root of the depth in that tank. So you can see that here. So in this quick video, we just try to give you an idea. I wanted to give you an idea about how one can quickly model uh, these situations using a simple idea of proportionality, uh, whether inverse or directly proportional. Um, and a simple first order differential equation can represent many uh, situations. So hopefully that will help you understand better um, and more insights into mo modeling using um, uh, first order differential equations. Thank you very much.